Kira, can you hear again? Filling in for Kirby, who is busy eating somewhere. I should be the president and presenter of the Aotearoa Social Club. At least I get the job done. Here's my Maori translator. Oi, no way you hear Kata Hika here, Kiatu. You hear I, ya Kirby, go ahead, no to right, then a carpo, poo hero, nyani. When it comes to balancing the books, I'm your man. Have you ever met a bad Asian accountant? Kaita tau moni, himba ma noi hote kau te ngā rua tāra. The whole team owe me for single-handedly holding the show up. The two minutes I make every week doesn't end in disappointment as in ours case. Screw you, Romeo! E noho nga mana ki a koe, wai marie me he mea kai ke te hari koa tanga ki tā wahine i roto i te rua meneti, puritia tō tūranga mahi. So believe the hype, there's a new sheriff in town. My name is Kenny. Google me, bitch. Enjoy the show. Peace out. Ko Kenny tōna ingoa. Hai, ka are hoki a kūkara i te mōhi o kō wai ia. I think Kenny's getting a bit of an ego now. Yeah. I love <laughs> Kenny, the man! Kenny is the man, he is. Anyway, so kia ora, my name's Dane Kirby and welcome again to Aotearoa Social Club. It's the panel show that provides a deep tissue massage with a happy ending to the hot topics <laughs> of the day as well as generally nudging our guests to reveal their innermost thoughts. Tonight's everybody's favourite primetime TV presenter. He's here on the show, his name is Graham Bell. Yes! yes. Graham Bell. But please welcome this week's panel uh, group, people, mob, uh, disciples. <laughs> really blogging out of proportion here. Uh, Tammy Davis, welcome to the show. Thanks. You're sending a text, don't you? No. How did it work? You are. Are you, are you doodling are. You again? Are. What are you doing? Nothing. Why is your You're hands making me there? nervous. How was your week this week anyway? Oh, uh, mew. Yeah? Mm. Highlight? Um. Not in a sharing mood, are you? Mm. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> Kaylee, uh, yeah. surely there's something going on in your life. Um, yeah, no, um, got to do the, uh, the mega centre open for uh, Minor 10 and cool. uh, New Zealand Strongman uh, Levi was there breaking records, so it was really interesting to watch, impressive. Well, are we getting anything free from those guys? No, just wearing the orange colours from Minor 10. 10. <laughs> exactly. The place to All go right. for your building supplies. <laughs> you know, everyone's throwing in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how was overseas? You went Wicked, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. went to uh, Queensland, so we performed over there on the coast and in Brizzy. Uh, good to catch up with Junes, one of the boys from Nijin. Aww. Okay. Yeah. Again, on our uh, Facebook page and our uh, Twitter account, we're giving away some tickets uh, with strings attached. It's tomorrow night at the uh, old St. Paul's Cathedral. Op Shop, Tiki's going to be there. Like two concerts in one, really. And uh, we've got a couple of double passes to give away. So just support the cause. Say something nice on the, uh, on the page. Nice. OK, yes. let's move into our first topic. <laughs> Scientists have shown we make instant judgments about somebody's health just by looking at their face, and they are, and cannily, correct. What do you think about that? When you look at something, oh, you're not good, you're not... Well, what do you mean? Like, what do they see when they look at somebody's face? Like, do they see... Like, basically, in this case, uh, if you're a man not... with a large nose, you're probably a bit more flighty sexually. Oh, wow, well, <laughs> interesting. So Have is that all nuts? Māori's and Islanders then? <laughs> Pretty much. That's everyone here on this panel. <laughs> Are you like... flighty? <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> but sometimes you can see sickness in somebody's face. They well, surely, I mean, you know, you, like, you can tell when someone's hungover, mm. right? I mean, but come on now. Are you going to prescribe someone medication based on... What if they're just ugly? Like, what do you prescribe them? Like, yeah. plastic surgery or something? I mean, seriously, this is... Has yeah. he got a big nose? Not no. overly. I'd say medium-sized. Yeah, medium-sized nose, absolutely. A lot of people also, going off this, a lot of people Google their... Um, you know, if you're feeling a bit sick, you put your symptoms in Google. I've really, done that. That's very popular. Oh, a total hypochondriac. That. Don't yeah. do it. Just go to your doctor. OK. It Let's... comes up saying you've got yeah. something, mad cow disease. Oh, it just means, you know, you're not kind of, you're not like taking charge and you're, you're doing your thing, you know, you're not owning it. Oh, you're you're okay, promiscuous. Oh. Yeah. Flighty. Yeah. You're a, lot, a hoe. Lot of love you're to a give. hoe. <laughs> lot of love to give. <laughs> uh, topic number three, transgender air. Uh, PC Air this year hired four transgender cabin attendants in a highly publicised recruitment drive to operate charter flights from Bangkok to Hong Kong and other Asian destinations. But last week its only aircraft was grounded at Seoul's airport because the company could not pay its service and fuel fees. How would you like to be served by a transgender person? Doesn't Anybody. matter to me. Yeah. Does it Seriously? matter? Oh, it does, does it matter? It doesn't matter to me. No. As long as they're serving me and they're actually giving me my drinks, mm -hmm. I hate it when they tell you you're not allowed to drink anymore. 
Yeah. Okay, maybe it's just me. But seriously, no problem for me. Yeah. So transgender means that you're a guy yeah. who, who who wants to be a girl. Yeah. Or, or other or, or, or a girl who wants to be a guy. Yeah. But you, that wouldn't be a problem if you were... Why should that matter? Oh, they actually transgender is a finished up. It is a finished operation, so it's a person who has... So they've, uh, they've, they've changed, the change the, they've had the sex change. Right, yeah. It, it shouldn't matter. I mean, you're not going to discriminate against a gay person pouring you a drink, so why should you discriminate against a transgender? Well, to be fair, like, with the way our flight attendants look nowadays, you couldn't really tell anyway, to be fair. <laughs> 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 you say that our flight attendants look like men or women? Love in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, I'm going to move on. Oh. Topic number four, a British Come woman... Someone's drink's going to get spiked. Yeah, pretty much any of your uh, no drinks for that uh, A British woman, an Irish man, accused of engaging in sexual activities in Dubai, a taxi, in the back of a taxi, pleaded not guilty on Thursday, and the latest case of Westerners, Westerners falling foul of the Gulf Arab Emirates uh, uh, decency laws. Anyone got problems with that? I mean, it is their country. They should be able to lay down the law. And I agree. Oh, I'm with you. No, you know what? It's not the first. Um, back in 2010, there was a couple, not married, out of wedlock, actually mouth on mouth, mouth kissing in a restaurant, and they got arrested and sentenced to three months in jail. So it, it happens quite a lot. And apparently, you're not allowed to do this kind of stuff if you're not married. So I, I think, who's your, who are you to tell me I can't have a pass in a restaurant? Right, yeah. I'm down for the bang bang, you know, like. On a park bench, they, maybe not, but. You know, like, you know, if, if, if he's like, you know, so you're sitting in the back of mm -hmm. a cab, right? Right. With your girlfriend, you mostly had a few kind of biwas or something. <laughs> maybe. And then you <laughs> kind of, you know, you start kissing her, you know, it kind of take, you know, you're kind of in the mood. Yes. Right? You get, you know, knuckle deep, maybe. <laughs> and then. You know, you get knuckle what? deep and you just want to continue. Knuckle, I mean. That's knuckle deep second base, though, isn't it? Mm. Is that what I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. we get your drift. We get your drift. And so mm. you're thinking that should be okay over there. It's okay if you're married, apparently. But it's not if you're not married, then oh. they've got issue. Oh, okay. I, I, I've never been to Dubai before. Okay. They probably won't let you win after they heard you say that. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, everyone. This week in the office, I greeted my good mate Awa with a party, but he is so hard to please. I feel like I can never win with that guy, honestly. Here he is. Come in. Is it Awa? <laughs> Awa! <laughs> the fuck's going on? Welcome to the party, mate. We're yeah, celebrating. Celebrating. Check out the party over here. <laughs> Oh, he's having a great time. I've never seen him so happy. Look at him. It's a bit scary. He's like a big tiny fur, isn't he? Anyways, we're here to party. We are here, here to party. I'll tell you why. Yes. You ready? The ratings are good, mate. We are winning the time slot. Awesome. Uh, we're beating the um, ladder infomercial. I I'd bloody hope deal. so. I know. And <laughs> we're over the moon. We are over the... You've got to get uh, yourself a, a party hat. I'd love a hat. Yep. And uh, you've got to get yourself one of these things. <laughs> Gotta get in the mood, mate. Gotta get it's, in the mood. Here's some novelty sunglasses for you. Uh, you, got your, uh, you got your festive cocktail sausages, you got your twisties. Uh, help yourself because you deserve it, mate. Uh, you've uh, been a big part of this show. Thanks, and mate. this is what it all comes down to. I really appreciate it. I know. Why well, called you here uh, to this celebration, to this party, to this festive time, is because the bonus we talked about. Awesome. This is the bonus. With the. What do you mean? This is not a bonus. This is a bonus. First of all, these aren't even warm. Oh, come on, Mark. Sorry, what's going on there? What's this job? They're not even warm. Don't, don't. What do is that. this? Those are twisties. I don't even like twisties. Every big party should have a twisties. I don't even like twisties. What are you not getting about a reward here? This is a party. He's having the time of his these life. These don't even fit. Oh. This hat's done. Yeah, you can have mine, big boy. Um, this is bullshit. And I'm taking the food. Oh, I'm taking the, the bonus. Leave something for us. Fuck, I want my money. Get it right, Thane. Fuck your door, too. Doesn't even work. Oh, thank you. I think he took that okay, didn't he? 